And we're back covering uh, Media Day at Arena Bowl 26. Joining me today is uh, the center for the Philadelphia Soul, Brandon Carvalho. Brandon, thanks for joining us for this You played on both of these teams. You played with both of these quarterbacks. You protected these quarterbacks like the Dickens. I'm not going to ask you to pick which one's better. Compare and contrast a little bit with Nick Davila and with uh, Dan Randall. I think to be a good quarterback, you got to be a good leader. And uh, both of them, I follow them wherever, you know. Nick, uh, back in the uh, Nick was always a... Uh, one of those guys, if you hit him, he's going to keep, keep getting back up. You know what I'm saying? He was a fighter and he's a great leader. Uh, Dan, on the other hand, he was a little bit younger, but uh, he, was, he had a Clinton on his side to begin with. And uh, the more he played, the better he got. And the more confidence I had in him to be a better leader, it was great. The one constant over the course of whether it be your time in Arizona, your time in Philadelphia, is wherever you've gone, quarterbacks haven't gotten hit a whole heck of a lot. What do you bring to the offensive line at this point for both for first Arizona and now Philadelphia? Uh, at this point, I had a little bit of experience. I had some real good coaches. They got probably at, at my time now, I had Coach Connie and uh, Coach Bogle, the two best coaches I've had in a long time. Coach Connie probably the best in the whole league. Bogle's a young one, and the best I've seen was a great player when he played. So it's good to have those kind of coaches and that kind of uh, experience to be uh, keep playing and uh, keep guys off the quarterback. Is there ever a point for an offensive lineman in his career that he just wants some some attention, some press? Or, or you know, what what, do you, what keeps you going to kind of you know get get your stuff going with the media and anything like that? Oh man, I've never been in a part of the media. I never. I mean, I'm not really worried about all that. You know, I just want to know if another knows uh, watch me on film and. They think I'm pretty good and I can play with them. That's all I care about. I mean, as long as I can play and keep playing at a high level, I mean, it will show for itself and I don't worry about them either. Tough matchup this week against you know, the Rattlers, and they've got a really good defensive line, maybe not the sacks, but obviously they get a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. What's your biggest challenge going to be as an offensive line this week? I mean, I've always been the guy who uh, stats don't really matter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Rattlers, you know, they never really had stats even when I was there, but they had the best pass rush in the league by far. And guys don't even talk about it, you know. So it's crazy to me. Easy to see on film. Um, it's going to be a battle across the board. Every guy is good. And uh, that's what the Reno Bowl is about, though. You know? Once again, we've been joined by one of the best offensive linemen in the league and arguably one of the best offensive linemen in the history, Brennan Carvalho. Brennan, thanks for joining us and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.